on, two times two. This can't be so hard. Ooh, I also need to memorize this. Ah, Sammy. Our kitchen is full of dirty dishes. It's your turn today to clean up. I totally forgot. I'm sorry, let me finish here and I'll do it. So where was I? Huh? Hello? Sam, where are you? Oops, Roger, I forgot. What? But you promised to help me. Sorry. Ooh, I am so happy we decided to take a break and go to see a movie. A movie? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you forgot about that too. You promised me. Sorry, Sue. I'm very busy right now. We will go some other time, okay? We need to do something. I have a great craft idea that will help you remember everything. Firstly, we are going to need some cardboard and colorful paints. Even though it's an organizing craft, it doesn't have to look boring. Am I right? Sounds good. Sue, have you seen my textbook? I completely forgot where I'd put it. Ugh. What is this doing here? Susan, is this yours? Oh, right about time. This is exactly what I need. I can squeeze lots of acrylic paint in here. Um, Sue, so what exactly are you up to? This looks quite weird. Trust me, Sammy, you're going to like it so much. I promise. We need to make sure that the paint inside the baggie is fully covering the cardboard. Watch me! Now let's fix everything with some scotch tape. It has to be sturdy in order not to slip. Voila! This is what you should get in the end. I don't get it. This is just a piece of cardboard in a baggie full of paint. It's not like that, Sam. Check it out. You can draw on it. Wow! Is that some kind of magic? I simply have to try this. This is so cool. I love it. Thank you, Sue. I'm happy that you like it, Sammy. But that's not all. Seriously? There's something else? Then let's move on. I like your enthusiasm. To proceed, we need more cardboard. I can do that. Don't go anywhere. Hello? Do you hear me? Buy cheap. Sell high. We need more cardboard. This is epic! They will call me the Cardboard King! Ah! I'm okay. It's good to hear that, and thank you for all of this. Let's come up with a shape for our future craft. We'll make a half circle on top. It is important that our drawing board doesn't fall out, so let's leave some extra space at the edges. So I brought you a special ruler! Great! Now we can easily make several openings. We are going to need them. It's time for some magic! Whoosh! Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome! Now let's take the base and transfer our template. I know some magic too. Oh, these look quite boring. I know, we can paint them. Did someone say boring and paint? Yeah, would you have a look, Monsieur Magnifique? What color should we use? Well, well, well. You need something not boring and bright. Why pick one if we can use all of them? Um, what are you talking about? We will make our craft colorful. All done. Well, what do you say? It's awesome, but why do we need the openings? To look through them? Here we'll have poppets. Let me show you how to make them. Oh yes, I love poppets. <laughs> Yay. This time we need our ruler, a ball, and foam paper. Wow, that's what I call a great hair day. Sue! Do you want to deal with your hair or make a poppet, Sam? Yeah, you're right. I really want this poppet, but at what cost? Now using this ball will make the pieces. Foam paper should be hot enough to keep the right shape. Let's cut it out, but don't forget to leave some extra foam paper edges. Like this! It's gonna be huge! <laughs> oh yeah, we did great! But it would be even better if we made them colorful. Let's paint each one of these according to the colors that we have on our base. Ooh, 
Let me guess. Next, we need to glue them to the cardboard. Right you are. Do you work part-time as a fortune teller, Sam? <laughs> yeah, every Thursday after school. Does the letter M mean anything to you? Quack! Mama? Yes, yes, I see. Your mom says hi to you. She misses you so much. What? But she's standing right there. Give my money back, you fraudster. I see you're making good money on your hobby. Anyway, let's get back to our craft. We'll glue this piece at the front part. Now comes a big moment. We need to fix the drawing board really good. And cover it with the second base part. I'm back! Do you need help? Well, we need ear templates. Your order is here, miss! I made everything by myself! Thanks, Sam. The golden part goes inside. And we simply glue them on top. Looks cute, right? This goes here. Uh-huh. Look, Sue, I made the unicorn horn. Awesome! Here we go! These two poppets can become a pair of eyes. We only need to work them up a bit. Let's not forget about the mouth. I also have another cool decoration idea. Let's make our poppet a cute little bow. Here are the pieces. already have the material. The color choice is just perfect. Yes, I like it very much too. So first, we'll make the outline. I want to do it. Where is my pencil? Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Be careful, Sam. You can do it. Uh, Sammy, can you speed up a little? Patience is a virtue, Sue. What's more important, quality or speed? And I'm done, Sue. Finally, let's move on. Hop. Ah, this looks great. Let's fix it here. I love it, Sue. I mean it. It's a perfect spot for the bow. Hooray! Hmm, I thought you said it would help me remember everything. Don't worry, Sammy. We are not done yet. We're at the most important stage now. Let's add some sparkle to it. I know how you like shiny things. See? Now you can write all your notes here! Wow! Practical and shiny! Just how I like it. It's perfect. But I still have to test it. Sue, there's no more free space left. What shall we do? Don't be silly, Sammy. We can easily erase everything and use the board again. That's great and everything, but we'll waste so many tissues like that. Then let's upgrade our marker. Oh, yes, and I already have an idea. Here, a perfect colored cardboard for a perfect craft. I also like this teal color so much. It's so refreshing. Welcome to our show about the wild yarn. Psst. Friends, here we have a rare pink yarn species. It's such a rare occasion that it allowed us to come up so close. Oh, look at that! Our pink yarn just had a baby! What? You want to be a pom-pom on our marker? Is that your dream? Well, go ahead. Great! You're going right here. Now it's a lot more practical. <laughs> we also need a place to keep our marker safe. Awesome! It's exactly what I need. I always lose my stationery. Sue, help me here! Like this! Oh, there we go! We're such a great team! Now I will show how to make a pom-pom in detail. So watch closely! First, we need to wind the yarn of different colors around the hand. Like this! Now we'll put it on the table and tie it up. Do it really tight so the threads don't come out later. The next step is to cut the yarn in half. You will get some kind of a messy pom-pom like this. I need the scissors again. Sam, do you know why I'm doing this? To remove the extra threads from the pom-pom. It's like cutting the wool. Exactly. And voila, it's like we got it from a shop. But how will you attach it to our craft? Easy peasy. Watch me, Sam. We sew the pom-pom like this, but don't forget to secure it with a knot. Now we can attach it to our craft using a thread and a needle. All done! Our cute craft is completed!
Well, I love traveling the world. You get to see such incredible sights. Oh, excuse me, that's the microphone. Oh, it's Toki. Yeah. Hello, Toki. It's minute mate time in Australia. Oh, thank you very much. I'm on my way. Here we go. <laughs> And today, I'm going to do an impression of what we're making. See if you can guess what it is. Here we go. Twit twoo! Twit twoo! <laughs> right. Any guesses, madam? A train? A train? <laughs> no, it was an owl, wasn't it, everyone? Yay! Yes! And the reason I'm doing that brilliant owl impression <laughs> It's because we're making one of these. <laughs> it's a card tube owl. Twit twoo. And to make one of those, we'll need these arty things. Come and have a look. We've got a glue stick, some paper cases, a cardboard tube, a pen, some stickers, and a paper triangle. Now, do you think it's possible to make this card tube owl in just one minute? No way! Oh, really? Well, I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the cork. But the first thing we're going to do is very carefully bend down the cardboard tube there to make ears. Then we're going to bring in our stickers, and with a pen, we're going to draw on dots for the pupils in the eyes. There's one, and there's two. Here we go, right, let's stick those on to our owl. There's one eye. And there's another eye there. Right, let's get some glue and our paper triangle. And if we put that just below the eyes, we've got a lovely beak. Now let's get our paper cases. We've got three here, but you can use as many as you like. We're going to fold them in half. There's one and there's two. Oh, and there's three. And now we get our glue stick back and we put lots of glue on the front of the tube and some at the sides as well. And now we can stick on our paper cases. They are the feathers of the owl. There's some at the front. Let's put some there. And some last feathers at the side here. And we've made a car tube owl. Yeah! <laughs> you, I did it just in time. A car tube owl made in just one minute. But if you've got more than a minute, why not try some other ideas? How about a lion with a paper case mane? Oh. Or you could try this tropical bug with spotty paper case wings and pipe cleaner antennae. <laughs> or you could even try making a spotty alien using fun foam and drinking straws for hands and eyes. <laughs> Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Bend down a cardboard tube to make ears, draw dots on stickers for eyes, and stick them on. Stick on a paper triangle for a beak, fold three cake cases in half and glue them on for feathers, and your cardboard tube owl is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Now, as my friends, the card tube owl would say, I must fly, twit twoo. But thank you everyone for being part of another marvelous Minute Make. Yeah! Hi everyone. Today we're gonna show you the magic of easy paper crafting. And I am ready to evaluate your work, Miss Susan. Where do we start? Well, you know I like to write notes on little pieces of paper. But I often lose them, so I thought a cute little organizer might come in handy to keep everything in one place. And it should definitely have a really up-to-date shape, if you know what I mean. Sounds interesting! I'll give you extra points for the practical usefulness of the craft. And you guys are free to give a thumbs up to this video! By the way, we're making this organizer from really thick cardboard to make sure it serves us longer. Right, let's see. Now, let's deal with its filling. There we go. By the way, Susan, I really like your choice of colors. 
You're so getting a point for this. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Now let's carefully cut out this shape. Easy to make? Check! You know I must say this craft is a real candidate for an A. Wait, really? I mean, thanks for your high praise, Sammy, but, um... What? There can be no but! The teacher's job is not only to evaluate their students' work, they also guide, explain, set an example... All right, all right, I got it! If you wanted me to help, you could just ask! Ugh. Thanks, but I was rather thinking you would come up with a simple paper craft yourself. I really like this piece that you've made, by the way. Ooh, great! I should probably deduct some points from you for my help. Hey! Sorry, Professor, but we have a perfect place for your pin right here. A few decorative elements will make this organizer look more like an iPhone. Don't forget about the brand resemblance with the reference, Sue! <laughs> Oh, that's right! And voila! The first paper craft is done! Wanna see more, guys? Stay tuned! Okay, Susie! Professor Sam is ready to teach you one very simple paper craft! Well then, I'm all ears! Okay! So fold each half of this paper sheet in half to the outside! Is that clear? Got it! It's like origami! By the way, guys, we made a video about that technique. You can find it on our channel. Right! Now flip this paper piece and make one more fold on the right half of it. Alright, I think I got this one too. Here we go. So I'm folding this half this way. And I guess I'm done. But... Wait, Sammy, what exactly are we making here? This is going to be a paper wallet for real cash! Well, in that case, we'd better secure it properly from both sides. Like this. Yup, perfect. For the next step, we'll need the double-sided duct tape once again. There you go. Perfect. We've got two pockets to store the cards and the bills. Awesome! Now it's time for decorations! And that's where your imagination steps in! Um, Sue? Sue? Shiver me chatters! What are you doing, Susan? Well, that's where my imagination took me. Don't you like it? Well, that doesn't look bad. But I thought I was in charge of the decor. Oops, I'm really sorry. Um, well, go ahead, Sammy. what I call unicorn magic! <laughs> you know, guys, I kind of feel awkward that I deprived Sam of the decoration process a bit. Let's cheer him up with a fidget toy! Here we have a slime inside the balloon! Now let's draw it a cute little face using a couple of permanent markers. Guys, did you already guess that this is going to be a cute little avocado? <laughs> Aw! Sue, are you making this little cutie for me? There should be more pink on her then. Ugh, all right. <laughs> then pink it is. Cool, and we're ready to move on. Guys, I want to mess with Sammy a bit. <laughs> hey, Sammy, what's the date today? I don't know, Sue. I don't have my... Wait a second. Was that a hint about our next craft? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a table calendar. And a bunch of cute animals on it will indicate the month, the date, and the day of the week. Oh my feta! That sounds really cool! Guys, quick! Give us a thumbs up if you agree! Now two little ears and a tiny bow. What do you say? I say... She needs a couple of cool friends not to feel lonely. I'll be right back. In the meantime, we need to glue these little paper strips to the back side of our character. Don't use too much glue, guys. Everything should look neat. Are you done, Susie? Check out what I've made! Wow! Sammy! You did a great job! Now we have all three windows for our calendar. Sweet! But it should be able to stand on the table, right? Watch this! 
Don't forget to secure the stand as well, guys. You see? Like this. Okay, let's check. Perfect fit! Now let's fill them all. Whoosh! And here's the rest. Cool! We can store the cards right here in this back pocket that I made beforehand. Simple? Yes! Genius? Definitely! <laughs> hey, my shy, slimy friend. How about a new ruler? Honestly, Sue? A ruler from paper? Hey! Ugh, Sue! But it will be very sparkly and with floating glitter. Guys, you are free to use glitter of any shape and color that you like. Woo! Now we'll need a mixture of water and coloring. Let's use a syringe to pour this colored oily liquid into the glitter. Oh, I love this color! Be careful! And try not to paint your fingers, boys and girls! Yeah, that's right! Okay, there we go. Wonderful! Guys, feel free to ask an adult to help you close this side really well. All we have left to do is attach a piece of paper with a ruler scale to it and it's done! Shiver me shudders if that was not the simplest crap today! Want something more complicated? You bet! Wow! What a beautiful country! I love travelling the world. You get to see so many... Oh! Oh! The maker phone's ringing, excuse me. Oh, it's Toki! <laughs> wow! Hello! It's minute mate time in the UK! I'm on my way! Oh, here we go! <laughs> Today, we're going to make one of these. It's a corner creature. A brilliant bookmark that keeps your favourite page in your favourite book. Now, we can make one of these by using these things. Let's have a look. We've got a glue stick, some scissors, some coloured cards. Now, we've got two squares and two triangles. And we'll also need some googly eyes. Now, you can find googly eyes in an art and craft shop, but today I'm going to save time by ordering some on my maker phone. Right, there we go. Googly eyes, add to cart. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. Let's have a look inside. Right. Ah, yes, we've got some googly eyes. Brilliant, let's put these over here. I think we're ready. Now, my friends, do you think it's possible to make this corner creature in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'll have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! All right. Are you ready, though? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get one of these squares and our scissors and we're going to very carefully cut it in half. Now, we need to be careful because scissors are... Yeah! That's it. That'll give us two triangles. We're just going to have one of those now and we're going to get some glue and put some glue on this bottom edge here. And that will help us to stick on these other triangles, which will be our teeth. There we go. <laughs> Let's bring it back in at green square now. And we're going to put some glue here on two of these edges. That's that one and that one, like that. Let's stick on the pink triangle like this. There it goes. Let's make sure it's stuck on. There it is. That's good. Now, we can turn it over and all we need are some googly eyes. So let's stick on googly eye number one. There we go. And we just need googly eye number two. We have finished! Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Just in time, but if you've got more than a minute, you could try all sorts of ideas. How about this big-eyed corner creature with a pink paper tongue? Or you could even use fun fur to make a furry corner creature. <laughs> corner creatures made in just one minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. 
Cut a square of paper into two triangles. Stick on paper teeth. Glue two edges of another paper square. And stick on your triangle like this. Add googly eyes. And your corner creature is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Right, sir, I'm going to leave this corner creature with you. You look after this book because I've got to go on more arty adventures. Thank you so much, my friends, for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! Yeah! <laughs> it's wonderful travelling the world. There's so much to see. Oh, look, that's Sydney's famous opera house. <laughs> it, uh, what? What's that noise coming from the marvellous maker case? Can you hear that? <laughs> it's the shapes! They're off on their journey around the world. I am a shape. I am a circle. Rectangles can you see? One, two, three, four. Yes, there are four rectangles. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the marvelous maker case. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so much fun travelling the world. You never know when you're going to meet new friends. Hello, you guys. Hello. <laughs> oh, the maker phone's ringing. <laughs> it's Toki. It's minute make time in the UK. Oh, thanks, Toki. <laughs> something that's out of this world. Beam it down, Toki! Yeah. Beaming down now! Wow! It's a paper plate hat and it can turn you into an alien from outer space. <laughs> it's brilliant and we can make one of these hats using these arty things. We've got a paper plate, some scissors, a pen and some sticky dots. Now, do you think it's possible to make this paper plate hat in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! All right. Are you ready, though? Brilliant! Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one! Start the clock! The first thing we're going to do is fold the paper plate in half and then we're going to take our scissors and very carefully cut around this rounded edge here. Now, we're not going to cut all the way around. We're just going to go to about here and then cut along this section and that will make a sort of cut-out smiley face like that. Now, let's open up this and we can see that if we cut along the fold here, we'll make two antennae for our alien. Let's push them through. There we go. There's one 
and there's two. There we go. Right now, let's get our sticky dots, and we're going to put some dots in the middle. These are going to make some pupils for the eyes of our alien. Here comes one sticky dot. You stick one sticky dot on there, and then another sticky dot on top, and we have made it! Yeah! I did it! Just in time. Now, if you've got quite a large head, you can make more room in your paper plate hat by doing this. Take your scissors and very carefully make a snip here. That's it, like that. And then you'll have more room for your hat. Let's try it on to my friend here. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, you look excellent. Very good. And if you enjoy that, why don't you try these other ideas too? Whoa! What about this three-eyed alien with yellow spots? <laughs> Ooh, well, you could try this incredible crown with button jewels, cutout points, and sticker decorations. Oh, or you could try this super shark made by cutting out a shark head shape with jagged teeth. Ooh, paper plate hats made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold your paper plate in half and cut out a smiley shape like this. Then cut along the fold and put the antennae up. Add black dots to stickers for eyes. Stick them on. And your paper plate hat is finished and ready to wear. Why don't you try and make it in just one minute? Thanks, everyone, for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! Yeah! <laughs> oh, what a fantastic arty adventure we've had. Remember, wherever you are in the world, get making! <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, it's Toki! <laughs> ah! Time to go! Time to go! Oh, thanks, Toki. I'll be home soon. <laughs> well, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the marvellous Maker Case back in its box. 